Next question is from Peaceful Knievel. How should you deal with the clicking or popping in the shoulders when doing an overhead press? It isn't painful, but prevents me from going heavier and owning the movement. You know, of all the the joints in the body, the shoulder joint is one of the more complex because you have the humerus that moves in the shoulder joint. You have the, uh, the AC joint, which does some function. Then you have the scapula that moves in lots of different directions. It can retract. It can abduct, adduct. It does all these weird movements. And all of those have to move together in the right way. And part of the reason why is we evolved yeah. to throw with tremendous accuracy. So we have this really mobile, interesting shoulder joint. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's floating. In yeah. There. <laughs> yeah. And, and so if you're feeling pain, I mean, you're doing the overhead press. But what's happening is one of these moving parts isn't moving the way that it should. It's not moving optimally. And if you continue to push through this, you can cause yourself a lot of pain. So what I would suggest is avoid overhead shoulder press and focus on shoulder mobility. Then when you work yourself back into the overhead press, go very light and relearn how to move. Do not go heavy. The second you go heavy, you go back to your old way of moving. Go light and move in a way that avoids the clicking pain. And it won't feel very natural at first because it's a new way of moving, well, but eventually it'll become your new pattern. Well, this person is also not, they say it's not painful. And I, I've been told that it the popping sound is just air in your joints, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when you hear popping and it's not painful. Well, they're right? saying it isn't painful, but prevents me from exchange. going heavier, well, which maybe tells me there's something else. Either right? that or from fear. That, oh, that's what I'm, that's what, or at least that's how I was reading this. I was reading this like, because sometimes that you hear that like popping of the joints and it's not painful, but you hear it like you'll hear. Mm -hmm. So I just did a video not that long ago on my Instagram and you can hear my ankles popping like crazy, but it doesn't hurt me at all. Yeah. The well, there's a difference between joints popping because of the suction that's created and the, and the gas that's released. Like when you pull a suction cup off the window and then there's the popping that comes from tendons and ligaments flipping over each other over and over again. Right. And that but, can become a problem. Yeah. Sometimes. Which is the worry, like it's going to be dislocated or, you know, like I, so there, there's different concerns there, I think for people and, and maybe that, that's happened to them in the past. And, and then they still have like a, a bit of clicking that they're kind of working yeah. through with that. Um, but still like, I mean, that, that's one of those things where I'm definitely kind of slowing it down, you know, working on like building up more tension and support around the joint as I'm going through those movements. But, you know, part of that clicking, like for some people is just going to be part of the process. Right. I mean, this is also, uh, if this person is not priming, you, you got to be priming. I mean, yeah. do I tell you what, go do some handcuff with rotation or suspension trainer W's before you go and do your shoulder press or zone one in maps yeah. prime, mm -hmm. uh, address all that and then go in and then tell me now it, if it's a, a mobility issue and you're just not aligned very well, and then you go do these movements and then it completely eliminates that, then there's your, there's your yeah. issue right there. You're just not, you're just not lined up properly. and It's not tracking like it should be. And you just need to prime for it. Now that I have this and I have this more right now than usual. I'm noticing my right side a lot because that's where I carry max. And so I've got to put an extra work on, on my right side to get it back in its, its position before I go do bench press or overhead press. Uh, if I don't, I neglect it. I can do the movements, but I'll feel that clicking and popping. And mine actually bothers me. It doesn't feel good at all. Uh, so if that's the issue and you need to be priming before you go into these movements.